This message, this prayer, is for anyone who feels bound, oppressed, or burdened. It's for anyone who feels chained and restrained. I want you to know that there is chain-breaking power in the name of Jesus. There is freedom in the name of Jesus. And there is deliverance in the name of Jesus. His name will loose every chain that binds you. The name of Jesus Christ will lift you up and out from that pit of oppression. People of God, I want to empower you today. I want to charge you up and point you in the direction of the one who can cast out every evil and sinister spirit in and around your life. I encourage you not to be a victim, but to be a victor. Don't fall for the devil's web of deceit. Instead, embrace the freedom and authority that comes in Jesus. Too many Christians are bound in their lives bound by the spirit of fear, completely paralyzed to do anything, to try anything, or to pursue anything, all because of fear. Well, that has to change today. Many Christians are bound by a spirit of infirmity, finding themselves weakened and fragile in their bodies and minds. But this changes today in Jesus' name. Whatever spirit you find to be in your life, whether it's a spirit of lust, pride, or unforgiveness, whatever the spirit oppressing you is, I would like to point you in the direction of Jesus Christ. Look to Jesus, because even the demons tremble at his name. Darkness flees at the name of Jesus Christ. So I encourage you to touch and agree with me in prayer. Let's believe that every bad and foul spirit that's either in your life or attempting to enter your life will have no room to cause havoc or disruption. If it's a spirit of procrastination, reject it, cast it out in Jesus' name. If it's a spirit of confusion, reject it, because our God is not the author of confusion. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. And before we pray, I'd like to read Psalm 91, verses 1 through 10. It's a passage of scripture that I pray will sit deep and marinate in your spirit. It's a passage that I pray will not just remind you about who you are, but whose you are. Psalm 91 reads, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent. Now let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I pray for the person who's listening. May they experience the mighty move of God in their lives. Clear out every evil and foul spirit that bothers them, Lord. Remove the spirit of infirmity and unrest and discord within their family. In the name of Jesus, I pray for each person who is listening in agreement with this prayer. Lord, may your power move in their lives and loose them from any chains that are binding them. Father, Lord, I speak the freedom of Jesus Christ upon their lives. I speak the joy of the Lord into their hearts, minds, and souls. I declare that they are free from any oppressive and depressive spirits. Father, your word in 1 Peter 2.16 calls us to live as people who are free not using our freedom as a cover-up for evil, but living as servants of God. We rejoice in the freedom that you've given us, Lord Jesus. Freedom from demonic oppression, freedom from evil strongholds, 
We claim freedom in Jesus Christ, a pure, divine, and lasting freedom that brings peace and joy. I declare in Jesus' name that no longer will we be bound by unclean spirits, no longer will we be held back by any sinful strongholds. Your word in 2 Timothy 4.18 says, The Lord will rescue me from every evil deed and bring me safely into his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. And so, Lord Jesus, we indeed agree that you will be our rescue. You will rescue us from the clutches of the enemy. You, King Jesus, will snatch us from the jaws of evil principalities and demonic powers. I believe, Lord, that you are our rock and shield, the one who will bring us out of captivity. Bring us out, Lord, from every evil stronghold that the enemy seeks to hold us in. Right now, I rebuke every foul spirit that seeks to hinder our lives, to hinder our faith, to take our peace. I rebuke every binding spirit in Jesus' name. Together with everyone listening, I speak clarity into our lives because you are not the author of confusion. I speak healing into our lives. I speak freedom and joy into all our lives. Your word says in 1 John 5:18, we know that everyone who has been born of God does not keep on sinning, but he who was born of God protects him, and the evil one does not touch him the evil one will not touch our lives in Jesus' name. Father, your word stands true and it stands forever. So I confess that no evil, no demonic spirit will touch us, our families, or our homes in Jesus' name. With the authority given to me in your word, I break every curse spoken over me in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every demon from hell and everything that seeks to disrupt or distract me from the call of God in my life. Indeed, the gates of hell shall not prevail. I confess your word to be true over my life, for it says in Deuteronomy 28.7, The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you they shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. With you on my side, Lord, who can stand against me? You are the Lord of hosts, a God who commands innumerable angels. You are the creator of all things, and therefore all power belongs to you. Lord Jesus, I praise you for your perfect sacrifice that allows me to be bold in faith. I declare and decree that because I am sanctified and covered by the blood of Jesus, the kingdom of darkness has no power whatsoever in my life. I cancel the devil's plots in Jesus' name, and I declare that he has no hold over me. By the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, I confess that you, devil, are a defeated foe. You will not succeed, you will not prosper, because Jesus Christ is triumphant. Jesus Christ has defeated death, hell, and the grave. My Lord has put you to shame, devil, and he has disarmed you to have no power over me or my family. It's because Jesus Christ rose from the dead that I am walking in victory. It's because Jesus Christ rose from the dead that I am an overcomer. It's because of the Lord's strength and might, his grace and mercy, that allows me to have victory over the enemy. Lord Jesus, I praise you, I magnify you, and I uplift your name. I look to you, King Jesus. I know that this battle is not mine but yours, and it's already won. So I will call on your name at all times. When everything is good, I'll call on your name, Lord. And even in my anguish, I will call on the name of the Lord, the great I I, I trust you to deliver me from all my trouble. Father, I thank you for hearing this prayer. I believe that you will answer and you will deliver. I thank you for the freedom that you have granted us. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. Dear Lord Jesus, your word in Psalm 42, one says, as the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, 
O oh God, my soul indeed longs for you, Lord. There are problems that I cannot overcome on my own, so I need your strength. I need your strength and power to help me overcome the obstacles I face. I need you to stand by me, Lord, in my heart, mind, and emotions. Your word in Isaiah 40:29 says, He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. It's in you that I can have victory. It's only through you that I can be a victor. Without you, Lord Jesus, there are giants I can't fight with my own strength. There are situations that are too much for me to handle. So I ask that you stand by me, Lord, now and always. Whether I am in a storm, in the valley, or in the shadow of death, be with me, Father. Whether I am in a fiery furnace or in the lion's den, I pray that you would raise up a standard when the enemy comes at me like a flood. Lord Jesus, I look to you. I look to your saving grace. Your word in Psalms 121.7.8 says, The Lord will keep you from all evil, heave your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. So, when the devil attempts to attack me, I will hold on to this word that you, Lord, will keep me from all evil. You will preserve my life. You will not allow any strongholds to overcome me. Though my problems may be daunting, I am at peace knowing that you are with me, Lord Jesus. You have promised that you would never leave me or forsake me. So even when the odds are against me, I will count on you, Lord Jesus. Whether I am in the lion's den or in the eye of the storm, you are faithful and I believe you will be with me and protect me. Your word in 1 Corinthians 16, 13 says, Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong, I will stand firm on Jehovah Jairus, my provider. I will stand on the lion of the tribe of Judah, my protector. I will stand firm and steadfast in your word, Lord Jesus. Great is your faithfulness, Lord. I choose to trust in you each day each hour, and each moment of my life. You gave your life on the cross to set me free, and I thank you. Psalms 91.2 says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. I confess this to be true in my life. You are my refuge, indeed my hiding place, and so I bless your name, Lord. I give you glory, honor, and praise, Lord. Give me grace, let me not become a prayerless Christian, because a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. Give me the grace and the discipline to be faithful in my time spent in prayer. Birth in me a desire to seek you, a desire and a passion to chase after you. I rebuke all other desires within me that fight or compete with my prayer time. Reveal to me the things in my life that are distractions or hindrances to my prayer life. I pray that my passions and desires all lead me to one destination, and that is to be in constant fellowship with you through prayer. Sometimes, Lord Jesus, I find it hard to pray. I find it to be a fight just to pray. In those moments, would you strengthen me? Would you convict me, Holy Spirit, to fight through and spend time cultivating a good relationship with God Almighty. Light a fire within my heart, ignite a fire within my spirit that will lead me to change my lifestyle, to change the way I do things and what I practice on a daily basis. May you be glorified forever and ever in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. Matthew 21, 21, 22 says, And Jesus answered them, Truly, I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what has been done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, Be taken up and thrown into the sea, it will happen. 
you will receive if you have faith. Dear Heavenly Father, I declare that you are an almighty God. I call you my deliverer and my problem solver. Thank you for your sovereign power over my life. Thank you for the opportunity to be called your child and to benefit from your heavenly care. I am happy that you are in control and I invite you to continue to rule in all of my affairs. Father, I pray that you would meet me at my point of need and grant me a breakthrough. Lord, I pray for a breakthrough in my family and in my marriage. I pray for a breakthrough in my career and in my finances. I pray for a breakthrough in my health. Lord, as I approach you today, I seek your counsel, your care, and protection. I pray that you would block every evil attack from the devil, every attempt from the enemy to disturb or frustrate. I pray that you would destroy and block his efforts. Your word warns me that the devil roams about seeking whom he may devour as he sets traps for me. I ask that you keep me vigilant, mighty God. Will you help me avoid every trap from the enemy and break through every area that he is trying to block? I plead the blood of Jesus and ask that you beat back the forces of darkness that try to threaten me. I am reminded of your word in Ephesians 6:12, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Lord, help me put on your armor so that I will be able to stand against such evil. Help me to do my part as I stand in faith on your word of God. The devil may seek to block my progress as he launches attacks of doubt, confusion, despair, and turmoil at me, but I come against all this negativity in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will send your power from heaven into my situations and break every chain that seeks to bind me. I am comforted by your word in Romans 8:15, for you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father, I stand on the assurance that you will set me free from all the things that seek to hold me back. I am grateful that you have accepted me into your kingdom. You have placed your loving hand on my head and you will fight for me. I stand against the spirit of fear that prevents me from putting my best forward. I pray that I may never allow fear to hinder my prayer life, my work, my faith, and even my relationships. Remind me, O God, that through you I can do all things remove the blockage of fear and replace it with mountain moving faith. As I come up against mountains of circumstances, trials, betrayals, and hurt, I ask that you will either move them or give me the strength to overcome. But you will not allow those mountains to defeat me. I pray that you will remove every barrier that the devil raises before me. Help me, Holy Spirit, to always ensure that my will is surrendered. Give me the strength to let go of everything that seeks to block my connection to you or block my yearning for you. I pray that nothing will dampen the fiery desire I have to know you more. Draw me close to you, Lord, and protect me under your wings. Please grant me favor in your sight. I stand resolute in my commitment to serve you as I study your word, which says in 2 Corinthians 10, 4, 5, For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. Through faith in your might, I know that I can resist and cast down every negative word spoken over my life or my family's life. Help me never to yield to doubt and worry, but to stand still and watch you accomplish many things through me. I claim victory in all my endeavors, 
knowing that you wish above all things that I will prosper and be in good health. Please continue to make a way so that I will achieve all that you have set up for me to do. Clear every obstacle that seeks to block my path. I believe you will, and you have set a boundary around me to keep back the forces of darkness that seek to harm me. Lord, I declare Isaiah 43.2 over my life. For your word says, when I pass through the waters, you will be with me and through the rivers. They shall not overflow me. When I walk through the fire, I shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch me. Thank you for such a promise, a promise of breakthrough and protection. Thank you for the promise that you will preserve me and keep me safe. I praise you for the assurance that even as the devil seeks to block me, you, Lord Jesus, will fight for me and cause me to overcome. I trust and believe that you will meet the desires of my heart according to your will. I bless your name and I thank you for hearing and answering my prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. Dear God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you deserve all the honor and all the praise. At this moment in time, I pray that your presence may fill this place that I'm in. May your presence be strong in my life. May your word become alive in my heart. May the Holy Spirit renew my spirit and renew my mind. Give me a heart and a mind of praise. Lord, I echo the words in Psalm 63, 4, which say, So I will bless you as long as I live in your name. I will lift up my hands. I declare the words in Psalm 28, 2, which say, Hear the voice of my pleas for mercy when I cry to you for help. When I lift up my hands toward your most holy sanctuary, my hands are lifted as a sign of surrender, Lord. My hands are lifted to you as a sign of humility. I bow down to you, Lord, for you are the great I am. You are the God who said, I am who I am, and I declare you to be my chief cornerstone. I declare you to be my healer. I say that you are my protector and my good shepherd. You're my peace and Lord, you're my joy. You're the light of my life and the light that burns through all darkness and sin. I thank you for your grace, your amazing grace that has been so good to me. Your grace and love are what kept me. Your grace toward me is unmerited. I do not deserve it, but yet you gave it to me in abundance and I thank you, Lord. There is nothing that I could possibly do or offer to earn your love and your favor, but Father, you have been so kind to me. You have been ever so faithful. Nonetheless, your word says, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because of your grace I lack for nothing. Because even when I am weak, I am strong in you, Lord. I stand on your word in Hebrews 4.16, a scripture that says, Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. May your grace and mercy continue to surround me and lead me. It's by your grace, Lord, that I am blessed when I come in and blessed when I go out. So I ask that you may stand with me and stand by my side. Lead me to walk with discernment and diligence in this world. Lead me to walk by faith and not by sight. Holy Spirit, please encircle me, comfort me, and hold me safe and secure in your arms. Help me to be bold. If you are on my side, then I can declare that I will not be crushed by fear and anxiety. If you are with me, then I can declare peace in my heart and in my mind. I look to you as the rock of my life, my fortress, my strong tower, and my strength. When I am weak, you are a sovereign God who has charge over my life, and you are a God who is faithful to deliver those who trust you. Your word says, A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, 
but it shall not come near you, I believe this. I believe that nothing, no evil, no darkness shall come near me because of you, because of your amazing grace. So I look to you, a mighty God who moves mountains. I look to you, a God who breaks down every barrier. I look to you, a God who can crush the devil and remove every obstacle in my life. I am confident that if I remain in your presence, you will help me let go of all my worries and stress. You will assist me in releasing everything I cannot control. I may be limited, but you are not. You are a God who is in control. I believe in your word which says, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. I stand on your word that declares, surely your goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you for the promises in your word, promises that fill me with hope and remind me of your love. The more I read your word, the more my faith grows, the more confidence I have, and the more strength I possess to press forward. Isaiah 40:31 says, Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings like eagles, they shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint. I pray that you renew my strength, Lord, renew my faith and belief so that I might face today in the authority of your word. You are all powerful, Lord Jesus, and you are a God who will never leave us nor forsake us. You are holy and worthy to be praised. Thank you for listening to my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. And be sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more valuable insights and inspiration. See you in the next video.